Bible says, 6 and 1. Check this out, though. Come and let us return unto the Lord. Go back there, second note. Come and let us return unto the Lord, read it. For he hath torn and he will heal us. Come on. He hath spitten and he will bind us up. Come on. After two days will he revive us. After two days. So now you see these little sparks throughout the world. Israelites popping up, popping up. But it's still not our time. Read it. In the third day he will raise us up and we shall live in his sight. Yeah, in the third day he's going to raise us up. Then it's going to be our time to back there and read it. Second then Ezra. Our time because right now is the wicked time and they flourish reading. Second Ezra 429. Come on. And therefore that which is sown be turned out upside down. Right. The wicked seed that was sown in Adam, if it do if, if it do not turn upside down, if it do not be cast out, read it. And if he play and if the place where the evil is sown in America in the world pass not away. If this world don't pass away, come on. It cannot it come that the song was good. And that cannot come with the song was good. Meaning the righteous is not going to flourish at the same time the wicked flourish. To understand this, that he is bringing on So the wicked has to go. And we know according to the promise, you do say you believe in the Most High, right? So watch what the Most High say. Read it. Second Peter 3 and 8. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. Be not ignorant of this one thing. Come on. That one day is with the Lord a thousand years. That one day with the Most High is a thousand years. Come on. And a thousand years as one day. And a thousand years is one day. So after two days, you're going to revive us. After two thousand years, the third day, you're going to bring us up. Read it. His promise. Check this out, read it. As some men count slackness. They say the most I ain't serious. He ain't coming back. Don't worry about it, man. Because I thrive forever. Go ahead and live your life, read it. But it's long suffered to us word. He's long suffered towards us word to get it right. Come on. Not willing that any should perish. The most I don't want nobody to perish. Come on. But that all should come to repentance. All should come to repentance. All nations, kindreds, and tongues. Read it. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. But this day is going to come. This wickedness that's been sowed will be turned upside down. Read it. And the which the heavens shall pass away. The which the heavens shall pass away. Not the actual heavens. They're not going nowhere. The heavens. Things that glow, that people glorify in America. Things that make people feel so heavenly. I got a big, big thing. I got a big car. Big house. Big bank account. All the government. All of it is going to pass away. Read it. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Uh -huh. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So this thing is going to be turned upside down. The wicked kingdom is going to be turned upside down. Let's finish checking out. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. The earth also and the works therein shall be burnt up. So all our, all our goods will be burnt up in the earth when the wicked time is up. Come on. Second Ezra. 430. Come on. For the grain of evil seed has been sown in the heart of Adam. For the grain of evil seed has been sown in the heart of Adam. So, we got it. Because we're the offspring of Adam. Read it. From the beginning. How much of hardiness has it brought up to this time? And how much unrighteousness has it brought up since that time? How much? And how much shall it yet bring forth? And how much shall it yet bring forth? Read it. Until the time of threshing come. Until the time of threshing come. Now it's time to start separating the wheat from the chaff. Yeah, the time of threshing come. Read it. How do now by thyself uh -huh. how great proof of wickedness the grain of evil seed has brought forth? How much wickedness the evil seed has brought forth? So we live in a time that's very wicked. So that's why it seems like the righteous ain't getting a move on yet. It's no problem. The time of threshing is coming. The time of threshing is coming. And the wicked kingdom, excuse me, the wicked kingdom will be turned upside down. Read it. And when the ears shall be cut down, which are without number, uh -huh. how great of course shall they fill? Listen, when the, when the time comes, when judge time comes, when the most high bodies want to set, the earth is going to be filled with wicked, dead, wicked bodies all over the place. I said the righteous don't wash their blue garments of blood, man. 
She's gonna wash their garments in blood. Read it. Then I answered and said, How and when shall these things come to pass? So wherefore are our years few and evil? Check this out. Read it. These people, these cats, read, read it. these cats act like they know when the Lord is coming. Check this out. Ezra, a righteous brother, asked the same question. Then I answered and said, How and when shall these things come to pass? Come on. Wherefore are our years you and evil? Come on. And he answered me, said, Do not thou hasten above the most highest. Don't erase, don't hasten above the most high. Don't rush to end. Believe me, it's gonna be some terrible times. I'm not rushing to end of the world, but I'll be joyful when it happens. I'm not rushing it. It's gonna be destruction, it's gonna be trouble, tribulation, trouble. Shalom, brother United, back at you with this Bible. We're in Galatians, the second chapter. Praise the Lord, we're going to try to run through that, clean it up today. We got a little background environment. We got a little meet out, meet out, you, you. We got a little bit of uh, evil might take on. Evil as can be. Lord Sabbath, that day for playing recreational song and music and dancing and partying with the enemy. Makes no sense. Place the second chapter, we're going to dig right in. We've been tapping to the Psalm previously. Psalm 84, we can still dig in. Alright? Pick it up. 2.14. Galatians 2.14. Right? When I saw that they walked not uprightly according to the truth of the gospel, I said unto Peter, For them all, that thou, being a Jew, liveth after the man of the Gentiles, and as not as to the Jews, right? why can tell us thou the Gentiles to live as to the Jews? Praise the Lord. So that's the song right here. You know, the reason really why this scripture is so beautiful because that's where we're at right now. We as Jews, the majority of us don't even know we're Jews. Don't even know we're Jews. But what style of life do we live? What mannerism of lifestyle do we live? The majority of us live after the heathen. We follow the Gentiles in their lifestyle. So we need to know how the Jews live and what their lifestyle is. It's here in Psalm 84th chapter. Give me Psalm 15 chapter. Give me Proverbs 2. That's before, right? Now Proverbs 2 first. We'll get into it. Psalm 84. Yes. It's a desirable thing. It's desire. Where are your desires at? Where will you want to be? Where do you want to spend your life or your eternity? Absolutely, it's not a spirit that dies. All spirits that exist, they live and they never die. So to be in the out of darkness, when it's wearing a nest of teeth, is hell, is death. So what you got, huh? Psalm 84 and 1. How amiable are thy tabernacles, O Lord, right. of hosts. My soul long is gay, even fainting for the courts of the Lord. That's what this is all about. How amiable are thy tabernacles. How friendly, how sweet are thy tabernacles. How, how, how friendly are thy tabernacles, O Lord of hosts. And that's where we need to be at. There's no sense. It makes no sense to hang out or, 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 or 
What are, you, what are your desires? You understand? We are amongst the Gentiles. We are Jews amongst the Gentiles. And how should we live? We know not. My soul longing, yea, even fainting for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cried out for the living power. For the living power. Well, everybody's dead to the most high power. They're all dead in the earth. They're dead in America. They don't recognize the Lord. So nobody has these desires anymore. Nobody's desiring righteousness or desiring to be right. Nobody's saying, uh, I want to be a, a bishop, a preacher, a deacon. Nobody, nobody uh, has the desire to be righteous today. To live evil and be wicked is satisfactory to the masses. To the masses, they're content, we know not. Yea, the sparrow I have found in house, and a swallow a nest for herself. Right. Where she may lay her young, even thine orchard, O Lord of hosts, my king and my power. Right, come on. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house. They will be still praising thee, Selah. Selah, they're still going to be praising thee all the way through. Blessed are the brothers and sisters that dwell in thy house, that dwell in thy presence, O Lord. They're always going to praise you, man. They're sincere and they're right. They're always going to praise you. It's a high vibration. But you got to understand this group to get into it, man. Then you got to be sincere. Or it means nothing. We know that. Psalm 84 and 5. Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee, right? And whose heart are thy ways of them, are the ways of them. Are the ways of them. Blessed is the man whose strength is in the Lord. Meaning. Excuse me. The Lord said that a brother, man and woman shall honor the Sabbath day, Lord Sabbath. The seventh day of the week. Righteous brothers and sisters, they endeavor. They endeavor. They, 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 they strive to get into this rest period, to get to this rest period that the Lord can bless them. So the Lord can take them into the Lord's group. We gotta get it, sir. Blessed the man whose strength is in thee, and whose heart are thy ways of and whose heart are the ways of men? And whose heart are, give me that Proverbs 14, 26, come right back. Show me what you got, Proverbs 2. Proverbs 2 and 1, right? My son, if thou wilt receive my words, and how my commandments with thee, right? right? So, that, so thou incline thine ear unto wisdom. So that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom. But nobody's seeking wisdom anymore. Everybody's seeking the of computers or uh, college, university, what you think? College, university. That's what they're seeking. They want to be all, if they want, if they act like, if they act like they want righteousness, they will go to seminary school, walk through, sorry. They'll go to seminary school and call themselves a preacher of religion. A preacher of religion is a liar. No such thing as religion in the earth, it's in America, it's through the world. But it's lies according to the Bible. It's lies according to the Bible. We know that. Proverbs 2 and 2. Yes. So that thou incline thine ears unto wisdom. Right. And apply thine heart to understand it. And apply your mind to understand. Don't get lost in the fun time, in the enjoyment of whatever you're doing in America. What, what you're used to live. Everything changes. You change. Pretty soon you're going to be old, tired, weak, beat down. And you won't be able to move. If you don't get up on the Lord's group, not get into the Lord's vibration, gives you, make you swift to feet, man, swift to mind. Make you swift, make you a quick wit. Get your diet right. So you don't have to be a... I'm not talking to you, sis, I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. You gotta get yourself lined up with the Lord proper. Oh, sorry, man. It's all right. Don't worry about it. I want you to walk through and keep going. I want you to line up with the Lord proper. Line up with the Lord proper. And that includes his diet. This is why you won't be overweight. This is why you won't be overweight. I wouldn't point out the system. You understand, but. It's bad. Listen, it's bad. Listen, we live against the Lord and we die in America. We live a life contrary to the Heavenly Father and we die miserable deaths in America. Michael Jackson, two days ago.
cardiac arrest, they say. The difference between a heart attack and cardiac arrest is a heart attack, your heart has problems, maybe irregular pumps or whatever, stop beat for a minute, something, and you might fall out and you're in danger, can't catch breath, but you can still think. You can still be conscious during a heart attack. You can still have your senses about you, but you're suffering. Cardiac arrest soon as you go in there immediately. The brain shuts down. The brain shuts down. They say they don't get to this bed or person within three to five minutes, seven minutes, something. Done. They go comatose. That's what happened to Mike. That's what happened to Mike. Drugs. Drugs. Everybody strung out on drugs. Now here you go, a star. Michael Jackson. A big fat cat star with all kind of money strung out on drugs. Sure, and listen, Mike was my man. <laughs> Don't give him that. <laughs> yeah, Mike was cool. He was right. He, he made some good music, but that's that. With Mike. I mean, you know, he made some good music. That's cool, I man. My, my wife is just some entertaining music dude. We so big here and there. But this is the Lord's Sabbath. Mike did on it. Mike was a drug addict. Just like a crackhead or dopey, he was a drug addict, like Anna Marie Cole Smith or whatever her name was. They take prescription drugs. They say twenty thousand dollars drugs a month. Twenty thousand dollars worth of drugs a month. Strung out. You need to get strung out of the Lord, man. Lock into this Bible and this is supersedes drugs. If you got a drug habit, give it to the Lord, and this damn thing will take you off, give you a new habit. Read it out. Proverbs 2 and 3. Yeah, if thou criest after knowledge, lift this up lift this thy voice to understand. If you cry out the knowledge, man, if you lift up your voice to understand it, if you're sincere, if you really want this truth, read it. If thou seekest her as silver, and searchest for her as your hidden treasure, see that? This is how you must seek this thing if you want to live. It's not no casual vibration. It's like you're looking for silver. Like you're searching for money. Like that, that hard as you look for a job. Even harder than you look for the job, you need to search out for the Lord, man. You need to dig into the Lord's groove so you can live. Show me what you got, 1426. Proverbs 1426. Right. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, man. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, because it's him you fear. You fear nobody else in the earth, man. The Heavenly Father is your fear and your dread. Read it. And his children shall have a place of refuge. And his children are going to have a place of refuge. They're going to have a place to hide. They're going to have a shelter, a cover from the tempest that the Heavenly Father is going to bring down. He's going to protect the righteous, man, because they're sincere. Read it out. Proverbs 2 and 5. Oh. Then shall thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of the Most High. For the Lord giveth wisdom out of his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. Right. Out, of the mouth, out of the mouth of the Heavenly Father comes knowledge and understanding, man. It's all about wisdom. Without wisdom, you don't live. Without wisdom, you die with America. You live in America, America's going to die, and you die with America. And all the fun that they have in America. All the music and the, 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 the play, the dances and the pipes and the, all the garbage are gone. They live in America and they die in America. America got short time left. All right, my brother. Very short. Show what you got out. Proverbs 2 and 6. All right. For the Lord giveth wisdom. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. Out of the mouth of the Heavenly Father cometh knowledge and understanding. But if you don't check them, that means you don't understand. And you can't act like you understand because you can't fool the Lord. Not to respect their persons, man. They don't care who you are. You got to check him out to get wisdom. You can't make up your own wisdom in the earth because you went to college. You went to Yale or UPenn or all this garbage. Some Ivy League. That probably make you more wicked, man. You went to a community college. You probably was, I mean, not as bad as the joker that went to Yale. With the jail, you worst. You, you the worst. Read it out. Proverbs 2 and 7. Right? He lands up sound wisdom for the righteous. He lands up sound wisdom for the righteous. Come on. He's a buckler to them that walk upright. He's a buckler to them that walk upright. But hold what you got. Here's the proverb for you. 
Keep the other one, which you got. Keep that. And read back to the 14 one more time. Because we who are Jews and not the sinners of the Gentiles. Wrong verse. Galatians 2.14. Right? But when I saw that they walked not uprightly according to the truth of the gospel, I said unto Peter before them all, If thou, being a Jew, livest after the manner of the Gentile, and not as to the Jews, why compellest thou the Gentile I'm not to live as to the Jews? His wife, right? None of that. How's that? So, why could you try, you being a Jew, you being a Jew, and you living after the manner of the Gentiles, Like the scripture said, how could you be the Jew? Live at the marriage of the Gentiles, you live like the Gentiles. Then how can you tell them or try to compel them to live as the Jews? When you yourself are hypocrites. How can that happen? Look, today, a lot of our people, they follow the Gentiles. They follow the Gentiles and live their lifestyle. And then, when they uh, come to some freak, they say, uh, um, they do all the stuff, they, they, let's go with, uh, uh Let's go out now. Let's go with Felicia. Felicia. Oh, sex talk. Now they got all the young boys and young girls into it, and they talk about their virgins. And everybody's doing this Felicia thing. But now, here you, as an Israelite, so called Negro, get involved with this stuff. And then, if you come on the table, you try to act like you're upright, like you're a decent guy, but you follow the Gentiles. You are all, all your men fall out in front of your women, all this stuff, and follow so far white men, and then you try to clean up like you're better than them. You can't be better than the man, you do everything like him. You have to be the same. You must be just like him. You know that. Proverbs 2 and 8. You keep up the path of judgment. Preserve the way of the saints. Then shalt thou understand righteousness, and judgment, and equity, yea, every good path. Every good path. Then thou, then thou shalt understand righteousness, and judgment, and equity. Every good path. If you follow the Lord in sincerity, how are you going to understand what's right? And you don't read the Bible. Are you going to go by what they say in America is right and wrong? Or seminary school? Doesn't add up. It doesn't add up to the Bible. Read it out. Proverbs 2 and 9. All right. Proverbs 2 and 10. Come on. For wisdom enters the divine heart. Check this verse out. Check this verse out. Because people don't realize what the Lord has given up. I just think really break down. Check this verse out. Read on out. I want to hear what you're saying. Proverbs 2 and 10. Right. For wisdom enters into thine heart. When wisdom enters into your mind, read it, and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul. And when knowledge, when the knowledge that the Lord has given up is pleasant to your imagination, is pleasant to your soul, to your character. And when you can accept it and say, this is sweet, it's right. It might be hard, but it's right and it's sweet. Read on. Proverbs 2 and 11. Discretion shall preserve you. Discretion. Discretion. Be in discreet. That's going to preserve you. Read on. Understanding shall keep you. Understanding shall keep you in the right zone. So you're not going to stray this way or that way to the right or to the left. You're going to be right on. Because you understand. Come on. Proverbs 2 and 12. To deliver thee from the way of the evil man. To deliver thee from the way of the Gentiles. To deliver thee from the way of the wicked, the evil men. The women say, say, what well, we say. But let's get to their own conversation. Because that's going to lead to their own world. They don't really want to hear the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord is too heavy for them, man. They can't take the word of the Lord. So that everybody, like a, they like the Gentiles, they run from it. Israel, like the Gentiles, they run from it. It's too heavy for them. The word is too heavy. 
Put your head and shoulder together. Come straight through, man. Sorry. Right. Galatians 2 15. Right. We who are Jews by nature, not sinners, but Gentiles, no. Psalm 84 and 3. Right. They still have found in house, and the swallow a nest for herself, right. where she may lay her young. Even thine altar, right? O Lord of hosts, right. my king, and my power. That can swallow the bread. They might end up in the Lord's altar. They can find some place to live. Check this out. Do you have a home in America, Israel? Do you have a home in America? So-called Negroes, is this your house in America? You own this land? Does this land represent you? Is your picture on the money? You so-called Negroes, man, where's your home? Are you so-called Negroes? What's your nationality? Who are you? We are not. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house, right? They will be still praising thee. Selah. Selah. All day long. If you understood the presence of the Lord, if you understood the beauty of the Lord, you praise him to the end. You won't let it go. This thing will be hot as fire for you, but you'll be all over this stuff here, man. We know that. Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee, right? And whose heart are the ways of men. And whose heart are the ways of them? Are the ways of the Lord. Right, give me Proverbs 27 5. It's that Proverbs 27 5, you know that. Who passing through the valley of Saka, Baca, met it well, make it well. To reign also full of food. Right, who passing through the through the valley of Baca, make it a well. Right. It's the Lord that make it a well. The Lord, like he passed through the valley, and it's instantly he can make it a spring of water. Because that's his juice. Check it out. Read on. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appear before the Most High. Everybody's going to humble up. Everybody's going to appear before the Lord. Everybody is going to bow a knee to Christ, whether you like it or not. Everybody is going to humble up to the Heavenly Father. Everybody in the earth. Voluntarily or by force, everybody's gonna humble up. All gonna humble up, no matter what you feel, how you think about it. Everybody gonna bow down to this word. Good job, man. Psalm 84 and 8. Right. O Lord of hosts, hear my prayer. Right. Give ear, O power of Jacob. Selah. Selah. Hear our prayer. Give ear, the Father of Jacob, because that's what we pray unto. Our sincerity is in the Lord. Our sincerity is with the heavenly Father. We don't know. Behold, O power, our shield, and look upon the face of that anointing. And look upon the face of that anointing, man. Bless us, because we hold now for you, read it. For in the day of thy court, excuse me, for a day in thy court is better than a thousand. And I'd rather have been, excuse me, and I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of the Most High than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. Hear what the Lord doing, hear what the brother say here. For a day in the Lord's courts is better than a thousand days in the earth. One day with the Lord is better than a thousand days in the earth, man. Job is running around in the earth to turn their ear and turn their face away from the Lord. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. Why hang out with the evil who's going to backstab you, ruin you? Cheat you, rob you, and treat you dirty, no matter who you are. Treat you, they treat their own kind dirty, no matter who you are. You know that. Psalm 84 and 11. Right? For the Lord is most, excuse me, for the Lord's power is a sun and a shield. The Lord will give great glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk up right. You're not going to hold nothing for the brothers and the sisters that walk up right. The brothers and sisters that, that are right, that, that prove they're right, that stand in it. The Lord's going to bless them abundantly. He's going to give them, man, and they're going to live and they're going to never die. They're going to live and they're not going to die. That's what this is about. I'm going to go out like cardiac arrest, all this stuff. Michael Jackson, he went out like Aaron Nicole Smith. Fair Fawcett, Ed McMahon, pop, 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 one behind the other, this is how many stars, but that, the point of the matter is that's nothing. Get the other one that was hung by. Oh, David Carey. Right, David. Oh, that's what he did to himself? Yeah, the same time.
David Kennedy. He was over 70 years old. First thing I ain't know he's struggling by his testicle. Yeah, well, yeah, it don't matter. What you got, huh? Proverbs 27 and 5, bro. Open rebuke is better than secret love. That's what this is all about. That's what Paul did to Peter. That's what this is all about. Open rebuke, wide open, anybody can hear it. It's better than secret love. You know, some to that, some, some hard people, so called I love my people, I love my people, I'm all about my people. I love my people. But they only say it in secret. They won't say it really about their people. Come straight through, miss. Don't walk in the street. You got children all them. Walk straight through. Not a problem. They say, look, they say, they say, uh, uh, uh what was that? Okay. Right. They say that I love my people, but yet they won't tell them. Well, they're wrong. If you see your brother and your sister are doing wrong, why don't you say something? Listen, we've been seeing it. So we say something. That's where we're at now. Finish up. Psalm 84 and 12. O oh Lord of hosts, blessed is the man that trusts in you. Blessed is the brother that trusts in the Lord. Blessed. This stuff's too heavy for some. It's too deep for some. Some brothers and sisters already sunk their head into Esau, into Satan, the so-called white man. So they can't get out. Their heads are messed up, son. Proverbs 2 and 9. Excuse me, Proverbs. Proverbs 2 and 12. Excuse me. Proverbs 2, yes, it's Proverbs 2 and 12. To deliver thee from the way of the evil men. Proverbs 2 and 11. Proverbs 2 and 10. When wisdom entereth into thine heart, right? The knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul. That's what it's all about, man. Wisdom. Something that's not in the earth today. All they got there are college graduates. BAs, MAs, or oh, whatever. Well. That's what they got here, college graduates. They call these people wise. All the college graduates are ruining America. They bring America right down with their so-called higher education. All these college scholars are liars and criminals. They rob in America and they ruin this country. And you trust in them. All the college graduates, they're robbers and criminals. Show what you got, out. Where you at? Over here, read up. Proverbs 2 and 11. Read it. Leviticus 19 and 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Do not hate your brother in your heart, in your mind. It's not a hate vibration. Nothing hate is about this. This thing is love. Check it out. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy mind. Check this out. Thou shalt not in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Excuse me. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. And you're supposed to rebuke your neighbor. And you should rebuke your neighbor. Read on. And not suffer sin upon him. And don't suffer sin upon him. Read on, huh? 20. That means 18. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. That's what this is about. I this am Lord. I am this is about love. We come out and preach and preach against the wrong in the earth. And so the Lord just told us, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy mind. Love thy neighbor as I love it thyself. So as I love my son, as I love my son, and tell him that's wrong, man. You can't because it's wrong. Anybody else? My neighbor, I love my neighbor like I love me. If they're wrong, I want I want at least tell them. At least put it on, let me tell them, show me what you got out. Proverbs 2 and 10. Yes. When wisdom entered into thine heart. When wisdom entered into your mind. Check this out. And knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul. And when the knowledge is sweet to your soul, when you love it, when it sounds good, read it. Discretion shall preserve you. Discretion. Being discreet, that's going to preserve you. Because you're going to consider. You're going to think about the Lord. And you're going to say, should I dress this way? Should I dress like a whore? 
Should I play the horn? Should I be a drug addict like Michael Jackson? Or crackhead? <laughs> like in the ghetto. Listen, they got two types of drug addicts. They got the ghetto drug addict, then they got the Hollywood drug addict. The Hollywood drug addict take prescription pills. I just switched that up. The suburban drug addict. The suburban drug addict. Now drug addict. They got the suburb drug addict and the ghetto drug addict. The suburban drug addict take pills and prescriptions. The doctor write it out for him because he got money. He's paying the doctor. The doctor say, "All right, what you anything you want? <laughs> what do you want?" Don't be a mic, man. <laughs> in the ghetto, you can't get those drugs because you have no money. You can't get all this oh, Demerol. <laughs> Demerol. How are you going to be prescribed to Demerol? Like, oh, yeah, enough cuts. Enough facial for the pain. He's a drug addict that killed himself. OD. OD, cardiac arrest. They should have said he owed overdose. You know that, right? Oh, they should have said he overdosed. Read it. Robert yeah, 211. Yeah. Discretion shall preserve you. Just like Anna Nicole Smith, she overdosed. She OD and killed herself. And Mike Jackson didn't say he OD and killed himself. The crackheads got a little better play. At least they don't OD. <laughs> the crackheads don't OD. They're miserable. They're just as wicked. But they don't OD. I haven't heard of it. You know, a crackhead OD or not? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, they kill themselves. They could. They could. What that little guy, little, uh, uh, little guy, little basketball player, I think. Yeah, yeah, he could have. So I take it back. We don't know. Proverbs two and ten. When wisdom enter into thy heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, right? Discretion shall preserve thee. Understanding shall keep thee. Understanding shall keep thee because you know. Because you understand what it means to go a certain direction. You understand what it means to be a whore. You understand what it means to be a thief. You understand what it means to be wicked. You understand that you're not going to be that way. You understand the things that qualify you to be a wicked doer. And you don't do them. You understand the things that are evil, so you don't do them. At least you can do is say what's up, Bob. At least you can do is say what's up, Nestor. Yeah, Proverbs 2 and 12. Hey, yo, Trent! Trent! That's it? That's it? That's it. Yeah, that's it. Proverbs 2 and 12. Stand up, right. To deliver thee from the way of the evil man. <laughs> Trent! Come on. Proverbs 2 and 12. When wisdom is pleasant to your heart, man. When, when knowledge is pleasant to thy soul. When you love this word, it'll do what? Discretion shall preserve you. It's going to preserve you. It's going to keep you intact. Read it. Understanding shall keep you. And understanding is going to keep you on the right path. Come on. To deliver thee from the way of the evil man. So you don't start believing the evil man. You don't believe that the rulers of America lies. That the rulers of America give you. The rulers of America tell lies. They rule America because they went to college. Look, they rule America because they went to college and they didn't study the Bible. That's why America's fallen. Give me what you were saying, six and one. What you want us for? You done with that? What you were six and one? Psalm is done. You got the body from mine and give me that what you were saying. Read it. Proverbs 2 and 12. Come on. To deliver thee from the way of the evil man. Come on. For the man that speaketh forward things. For the man that speaketh forward things. Read it. Who leave the paths of uprightness. Right. To walk in the ways of darkness. They leave the paths of uprightness to walk yeah. in the ways of darkness. Yeah, the ways of darkness are in college. Yeah. The ways of darkness are in college. They blacken the eyes. You go to college, and you start to do everything they tell you to do, and you believe all the stuff they did believe. And you screw your own head up, and you don't believe in Christ. And you do not believe in Christ, and you do all the things that college tell you to do. Because what Christ tell you to do is contrary to college. Good. Hold this. Hold this. Hold this. Give me a... 
first factory is what? Where's the Masalaman? Six and one. Right. Here therefore, O ye kings, and understand, learn ye that be judges of the ends of the earth. Learn ye that be judges of the ends of the earth. Get out of this thing break down, man. Learn what the Lord is saying, man. Give ear, you that rule the people, right. and glory in the multitude of nations. You that rule the people, give ear, man. You glory in the multitude of nations. Check this word out, because you're against it. Read on. For power is given you of the Lord, and sovereignty from the height. From the sovereignty, the rulership that you have, it's the Lord that gave it to you. No matter what shape, form, or fashion you got it, He gave it to you. Now what you do with it, you're going to be accountable for it. Check this out. For power is given you of the Lord. Right. And sovereignty from the height. Right. Who shall try your works and search out your counsel. He's going to try your work and search out all your counsel. How evil you put out. The evil that you put out in the earth to fool the people. To blind the people. You're going to be accountable and rightfully so. You know. Because being ministers of his kingdom, ye have not judged a right. Have not judged a right. Nor kept the law. Nor walked after the counsel of the Most High. Right. Horribly and speedily shall he come upon you. For a sharp judgment shall be to them that be without, that be in high places. A sharp judgment is going to be all you jokers in high places. Give me that one left now. Back. First Maccabees. First Maccabees, one of eleven. In ancient times, during the Greek kingdom. This way they started this higher education. This way they started this education to, uh, 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 to, 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 to derail the Jews, to derail the Israelites, to derail the righteous. They started this higher education system, this school system, and they eventually got, our, got us to bring our children to school, to trust in everything they teach, believe them, love them. And you got brothers and sisters that study Greek philosophy. And all these Greek gods are fake. They're stories. They're myths. Every last single one. They're myths. You want to go to college and take up a course of a philosophy or something, and they tell you about a, 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 a couple of gods, and they start believing these gods were real. Greek gods are real. You gotta be kidding us, man. Show what you got, huh? First Maccabees, one in eleven. All right. In those days, what's up, out of Israel, wicked men. Oh, okay. Same thing. Yeah, man. Oh, okay. How you feeling, man? I'm good, man. I'm good. Okay. What's up, man? Listen, man. I don't know you, man. I don't know you. Peace, man. Oh, man, you don't know me, right? Nah. But you broke, you ride by, you look at us, and you see some brothers in your brothers, own, man. man. Right, you see some brothers, right? Like, and you should stop and check them and see what they're into, right? Okay. This is the place for Islam? Far from that, right? What's your nationality? What's your nationality? Right, man. Nah, come on, bro. What's your nationality, right? I'd rather follow our law than anything. Why? I don't know. Now it's accepted. All right, we'll let it all, just, take, just take one minute out and hear us out, right? This is to the lost child, lost child We're going to go through this. This is what we go through. A lot of brothers and sisters don't know. We need to go through it with you, man. You understand the history of America. How our forefathers got here. Slave shit. Give me that 26 here. We'll bring this out, right? This here now is how our forefathers got here. Now, this is the Bible. The Bible is the book of life, huh? Yeah. This just talk about everything going on in the earth. That went on in the earth, that's going on down, what's going to happen. Uh, you understand? So, read what you got, huh? What do you see? How do you go? What do I mean, 28? You got it down to the bottom? A little bit. A little bit? Basic instructions before we leave the earth. That's the old zone. That, that's, that's, that's some slick stuff. Alright. That's some slick stuff, some hard stuff, man. Yeah. They don't really deal with this body. Alright. The first brother I came in contact with that used that saying, Dead. I myself printed up sweatshirts for this book. Basically, it's just before leaving Earth. It's garbage. That don't understand? It don't make sense, right? The Earth is always going to be here, and we're always going to be here. Yeah. We're going to live and never die in the Earth. That's what this is all about. That's what the Bible's giving. I'll check this out. Moses, in the time of Egypt, spoke, speaking to the nation of Israel. Yeah. And it shall come to pass. Thou shalt hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord thy power to observe all his commandments which I command thee this 
day right. that the Lord thy power will set thee on high above all the earth, above all nations of the earth. Right. That, that's what the Lord said. If we were to prepare, Moses told all, all the nations of Israel. Now he told it's us. But he told all the nations of Israel, if you do what the Lord said do, you get it. Everybody, China man, white man, the Jap, the Korean, the Africans, all other nations going to praise you, God. Can we get that today? Nah. What do we get from that? Yeah, everybody call us what? Niggas. Everybody call us niggas, yeah. man. You know that. How old are you, bro? And you're a young brother, you understand? Yeah. You know that. We know that. 15. 15. Through, through the the 20, 15. Verses, right? Paul. But it shall come to pass. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power. Now Moses said, if we don't listen to what the Lord said, do check it. To observe and to do his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, right. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. The curses don't come upon us and overtake us. Curses. You understand? But if we as a people didn't do what the Lord said, do. It's a curse. Now, drugs. What the, what's the curses? What's your life like? What do you know about your history, huh? Drugs, guns, yeah, murder, uh, disease. Your people die of disease, out. Huh? They kill each other. Are they wicked? You think your people are wicked? Nah, not really. Why not? They not. They just lose what they got. They find it possible, man. Well, what is righteous? What is righteous? What is it? What is it to be righteous? How do you be righteous? Like me. That's not bad. That's not bad, huh? That's not bad. We just gotta incapacitate the whole vibration. Go on to our brother and that would be what. Go on to our brother and that would have to be what. Put it out, Matthew 7, huh? but, but that's great. I like that. Huh? But now, that's like the second greatest commandment. What's the first greatest commandment? Because you just can't go about me and you. We cool in the airplane school. What's the first greatest commandment? You're doing good. God is first. Come on. That's nice, guys. I like that. So love the Lord with all thy heart and all thy soul. And after that, love thy brother as I love thyself. Right? Ha, now check this out. We, we, we didn't do that. Is that what's going on with us now? Or do we kill each other? Bitches. You understand? Right? Read 16. Deuteronomy 6. 28, 16. The Lord shall bring them to Egypt and Jim. Shit. Come on, man. Lift that voice up. And the, and the Lord shall reign in Egypt again with shit. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. There you shall be sold to your enemies. No bondmen, bondwomen, no men shall buy you. Right, hear that. Check this out. Who's that? Who's that? Listen, I'll tell you after you come to the Lord. The Lord says you should come to the Lord shall bring thee in the Egypt again. Can't hear you. Shit. He said. And the Lord shall bring thee again in Ready? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with shit. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And then you shall be sold unto your enemies. Bond men, bond women, no man shall buy you. So what Moses said is the Lord is going to bring the nation of Israel into Egypt again. The first time they were slaves in Egypt, they walked down in there. Then you know Moses came to the Red Sea. You know the story. Uh, Moses ex 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 Red Sea. They spent four years in the desert. You know the story. Praise the Lord. Now, Lord, they out of there. They out there in the wilderness now. And Moses is speaking to them. He said, if you don't do what the Lord said, do we going to bring you back to Egypt, man? He's going to bring you back in the house of bondage. Egypt means house of bondage. That's the meaning of the word. House of bondage. You got it? Deuteronomy 13. Read it. Thank you, my God. Deuteronomy Yeah, two more minutes, right? I got you. Then thy heart be lifted up, and thou forget the Lord thy power, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. The house of bondage, right? So Egypt is the house of bondage. Now, it says the Lord shall bring me into Egypt again with shit. By the way, where I speak unto thee. You talk about the middle passage. In the middle passage. Off the coast of Africa to the Caribbean to America. Bang, bang, bang. Certain passage they took. Right there, you should be sold to your enemy for slave men and slave women. And no man shall buy you or no man shall save you. So who my enemy? 
Who was taking on ships from one landmass to another, huh? 48. Who, 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 who was taken from one landmass to another landmass in ships and sold to the enemy? Yeah, Our ancestors, good. Who's speaking? Is Moses African? I'm asking you. No, Moses was not African. Moses was an Israelite. No. The Egyptians, the Egyptians had the Israelites as slaves. Say you know the story. In Egypt, Moses was a slave. <laughs> and his people built the pyramids. Right? No, not right. So, the Africans were enslaving the Hebrew Israelites. And the Hebrew Israelites, had, had, they exited through the Red Sea. And they was in the wilderness for 40 years, and Moses is speaking to them. And Moses is telling them that if you don't do what the Lord says do, you will end up being slaves in another Egypt, and they're going to take you to ships and bring you over here again, because Moses just took them out. He said, they're going to take you up, and you're going to be sold to your enemies as slave men and slave women, and nobody's going to save you. So what's that saying to you? What Mo Moses is, that's who we are. Moses is speaking to the nation of Israel, right here. Twelve lost tribes of Israel. You ever heard of the twelve tribes of Israel? What's your name, Ajah? Ajah. You ever heard of the twelve tribes of Israel? I thought you, I thought you read the Bible. Now look, man, I hear you. This is who you are, Ajah. You need to get with the Bible. You get the paper, Ajah. You guys start reading the Bible, Ajah. Nineteen. Uh, next year you're going to be grown. Whenever you turn 20, you're going to be fully grown. Born to the Lord. You don't want to be a grown man, don't 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 that's not true. There's no such thing as the African. God, there's no such thing as the African, huh? The African, no such thing. The African is a continent. Nobody's an African. So, no, nobody's an African. The nationality, nationality, the people that come from Africa, they say I'm Ethiopian. They say I'm Egyptian. They say I'm, they say I'm, I'm Senegalese. That's on the continent of Africa. Because Africa is a continent. No possible way that we ask the African, they don't say I'm African. They tell you where they're from. You know what I'm saying? So you can't, I can't be a nationality because that's the name of a continent. That's my ancestors. They were taking the slaves off the continent of Africa. The ancestors were taking the slaves off yeah. the continent of Africa. Yeah, but see, I was born here in the same place. you and me both. But that don't make you an African. That don't make you an African. You know what I'm saying? What you got to do? You never seen it on TV? I have channel 29. Pretty good, sister. All right, channel 7. 27. 27. Right here, channel 7. Right? Get your Fridays at 11. Don't worry, you'll be up here. Read a little bit out. Hey. Okay, all right, you got to read a little bit out. You understand? I'm glad you checked this anyway, Paul. You know what I'm saying? Praise the Lord, exactly. It's supposed to be my man. We're in Pops, are you in town? Yeah, here, man. Dyson like you got some significance when I got to put the state representative for 16 years. Alright, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right. That's what names for me. I can't put them away. I'm bad with names and faces, but that's hot. Alright, listen. You gonna check us out, Lot? We're every Saturday, man. Andre, you understand? Listen. That's 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 on TV. In the street, we hear every Saturday. Listen, I don't have to worry about getting no lies from us. Anything we tell you, you're going to prove it in the Bible. Right. For yourself, because you're a big man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Peace. Peace. All right. Praise the Lord. Hi. Who we at, huh? You going to get back? Sure. Bring it back. Bring it back. There now. We were dealing with this scripture in Galatians, too. 
Galatians 2, read 2, 14 again, read 15. Galatians 2, 15. We who are Jews by nature, and not sinners of the Gentiles. What? Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Yahweh Shai Christ, even we have believed in Yahweh Shai, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ, not by the works of the law. Praise the Lord, hold on. Right. Here now, check this out, right. And not by the works of the law, but by the works of the law, Shall no flesh be justified. Shall no flesh be justified. Give me 3, 10 through 14. Give me uh, Luke 6, 27. Give me Luke 6, 27. Kill that. Give me Luke 6, 27. Read it. Galatians 3, 10. Right. For as many as are the works of the law. As many brothers as are, are, are the works of the law. Read on. Are under the curse. They are under the curse. Why so? Read it. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that continue not in all the things that are written in the book of the law to do them. Right, curse is everyone that continue not in everything that's written in the book of the law to do it. You must keep doing it. If you're into the law, that's your job, then you gotta lock it down like that. Read all that. But that man, excuse me, but that no man is justified by the law in the sight of the Most High. It is evident, for it is evident, for the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. No man is going to be justified through the law. That now is in Christ. No man. Show them what you got, huh? And the law is not of faith, but the man that taught them shall live in it. The law is not of faith. It's the carnal, but it's not. It's, it's carnal. The law is carnal because, it's, it, it, you know, you, brothers and sisters, can do it carnally. If a man is a faithful man, he does the thing in the law faithfully. In sincerity, because they're righteous. While the neck, while the carnal man is putting on a show, imitating, impersonating, trying to make you believe that he's righteous. Here, 14. Christ, Galatians 3.13. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law, and rightfully so, read on. Being made a curse for us. Right? For it is written. Curse. It's everyone that hangeth on a tree. That curse is everyone that hangeth on a tree. It's written. You're not supposed to stay hanging on a tree uh, after sundown. Back then when the punishment came down, the punishment was death by hanging. Take the body down before the sun go down. Curse is everyone that hangeth upon a tree. Right? Uh, what? That the blessings of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Christ. That we might receive the promise of the Spirit Faith. Through faith. We will receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. The Spirit is eternal, that lives and never dies. And we will receive the promise of the Spirit through faith because we believe. Because we believe. Right? Read it. Luke 6 and 27.